Hello fellow Star Wars fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another Star Wars related figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series, Han Solo and Mammy Ben? I don't know. Outfit by Hasbro. Now I'll take a look at the package. Now you can see the window that's exposing the figure and the accessories. And you can see the name here, and also you get the nice image artwork. On the side here, you see he is number 78. And on the back here, you got a little bio about Han Solo. It says, after kick, getting kicked out of the Imperial Academy, Han Solo finds himself dumped on Mamaban. I don't know, as a mud trooper while there, Han met an Imperial prisoner named Chewbacca in a encounter that would change his life and you see an artwork of Han Solo so that's about it for the box or the yeah maybe it's called the box let's release Han Solo out of the box here we go out Han Solo out of the box take a look at the figure here now the likeness to the actor who plays Han Solo come on focus there we go I gotta say they did a good job capturing the likeness even though they use 3d printing on his face sculpt here i mean it's a really a nice job capturing the likeness to han solo now take a look at the outfit here there's some scratch marks on here like silver pieces silver paint there and also black shades of here a black on the back not too much just clean here now on her arms you can see some of the shades of green here or brown on on his arms you can see some of that i guess that's mud that was supposed to be mud and you can see the wearing the, his gloves here you get those wrinkles on his sleeves and you get a little buckle there and also a little silver mush to it and you can see some wrinkles on the um on the uh, the legs and also silver piece there there's also wrinkles on the pants and goes on here you can see the little straps for the um, leg pads there and you can see some sw shades of white here and of course there's some some legal crap and pickles in the bottom feet as well so overall, the scope-wise, the paint application, and everything else is pretty well done. I gotta say, this is a decent job with the figure. Now, articulation-wise, head can go full of rotate. It goes up and down, side to side. Arms go full of rotate, go in and out, bend at the elbow. And it's really stiff. I hope I don't break it. And rotation at the arm, on the elbows. Wrist can rotate and does have the hinge up and down while the other one is different direction. There's some upper abs rotation. Legs can go forward and back in and out. Upper leg rotation. Been at two points at the knee. And ankles can go piv four. Piv four and back. And ankle pivots side to side. You know, it's just the usual Star Wars the Black Series articulation. But again, it's a really a nice articulation for posing the figure. Now, for accessory wise, he does come with his mouth mask here. And this has a little two peg holes there. All you have to do is you put it here. Do, do, do. And of course, he does come with his helmet and has the strap on to it. And also, take a look at the helmet here. You can see some mud mushes here and a little white mush here, including there as well. And it's funny enough, if you put it on his on his mask, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. There we go. It does stay on very well. Now, of course, look at he comes with coggles. 
Not bad. Sculpted the goggles included some silver paint and some sculpt on here. It does fit on the uh, head right here. Like so. And of course, he does come with his cape. He has some not he has some tatter holes there and also some some stuff here and also a second cape there. Which you do is you does hold on the cape like so. Kind of maybe I think it does stay on very well on them. And also last successor, he does came with a blaster. I mean, a really nice sculpted blaster. They did a good job. Oh. And plus, they ha it has a little moving thingy here. It does move. goes up and down. You want to, like, pose it like this or just like that. Like so. And it does put on the hand where the trigger finger is. Come on. There we go. Much better. So overall, I gotta say, this is a nice figure. I gotta say. I mean, I like this figure so much. Not bad. Not too bad. I gotta say, this is a really nice sculpt to it. Nice paint works. Everything else looks good. Plus, this figure has a nice head sculpt to the... To the actor who plays Han Solo in Solo, this a Star Wars story. I mean, since he is dressed as a mud trooper, it makes you feel you want to buy a second Han Solo in his mud trooper outfit, so you can do an, like an army build or something like that. Either way, I'm not gonna do that because you know it's just the same figure, but with a you know head sculpt on him. So that my I gotta say I really like this figure. Highly recommend getting this figure. So my rating, I'm going to give him a solid 9 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is the Star Wars The Black Series. Han Solo in Memi Mem Pen? I don't know. Figure by Hasbro. And this is JR369, and goodbye.